Welcome to another episode of Uncommon Ground, a place where we discuss the big issues affecting the environment with the next generation of leaders and influencers. I am Juan Pablo Celis Garcia. Human-induced climate change is causing dangerous and widespread disruption in nature and affecting the lives of billions of people around the world. If we continue along our current path, scientists say that the consequences will be devastating, having implications on where we live, how we grow food, and other services vital to our well-being. So what are we going to do about it? To discuss, we're joined by Shanique Aspe, TV host from Mexico, and Mitzi Janelle Tan, youth advocate for climate action from the Philippines. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome. Let's establish our uncommon ground on climate change by finding out where we agree or disagree. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Climate change is one of the most important issues facing human existence. Agree? Disagree? Agree. Okay. Without immediate action, climate change will radically change the way that we live. Definitely agree. Yeah, agree. The easiest way to prevent climate change is to end the production of fossil fuels. Mm, disagree? For me, I agree and disagree in some point. Yeah, yeah. Me okay. Too. Okay, interesting. Uh, why do you disagree, um, uh, Shanique? I disagree because fossil fuels feel necessary for our daily lives. They keep our homes warm, they produce energy, electricity, and we don't have too many access for clean energy yet. Mitzi, as an environmental activist, you often challenge the governments and the authorities to act on climate change. How can individuals influence governments and, 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 and these industries in changing practices to reduce or to reverse the impacts of climate change? So the government officials, they may seem like they're the ones in power, but they won't be there without the people. So it is their responsibility and their job to listen to us. So have dialogues with them, write them letters, write them petitions, especially in local governments. You can have your students, your youth, your people in your community come together to demand for concrete actions from your local governments. And for industries, it's all about making sure that they understand what we don't like about what they're doing and that they need to change these things. Approximately 25% of global carbon emissions are coming from transport vehicles. Shanique, as a media personality, you're often required to travel. What can individuals do to reduce their carbon emissions? Well, I believe the country you are living in has a big influence. For example, in Mexico City, distances are very, very far. So using a bicycle as a mode of transportation may not be the best solution for everyone. But with pandemic, video calls have become more popular and had a positive impact. For instance, three years ago, I could spend half of my day in traffic just for an interview. But now I can do four or five the same day while I'm at home. I also take English lessons, music lessons, maternity classes, everything online. So making video calls is great and effective in reducing carbon emissions. Agriculture is also a major part of the climate problem and accounting for approximately 19 to 29 percent of the total greenhouse gas emission. Mitzi, what needs to be done to reduce this load on the environment? In countries like the Philippines and a lot of Global South countries, if you look at the way the agricultural system is, the farmers don't actually own the land. They don't get to say um, what is planted there. Who gets to say? It's large-scale multinational corporations planting produce and crops that aren't even there to feed people, but instead to profit off of. So we have to make sure that our agricultural systems, our, system, our food systems in general, 
are created sustainably so that people and food security and food sovereignty are prioritized and not the profit of these big national, multinational corporations. Shanique, uh, as a model and TV personality, um, you know, fashion plays such an important role in the industry. And however, fast fashion is, is not sustainable. And research, research so shows that extending the useful life of, of items and, and changing laundry practices could create the greatest reduction in climate impacts. What are some practical steps that industry can take to reduce its climate um, and environmental impact? Well, more than giving advice to industry, I would like to share what I can do from my position. Recycling is the answer and my secret. I like to modify my clothes by literally cutting my blouses or dresses. I also like to change bottoms from my jacket to another. As I always say, we have a fashion designer inside all of us. Um, other option is buying from secondhand store. And let me tell you something, you can find unique treasures. These are all great points. What is clear to me is that there are many ways that we can all help to reduce the effects on climate change. Individuals can make small changes to reduce the amount of fossil fuels, less airplane and car trips, more walking or cycling. Collective action by joining local movements to lobby governments and industries to demand changes to policy and practices. These are just three easy steps, but you could find more ways to help the planet by visiting unep.org or follow the links in the description. I want to thank you, Shanique and Mitzi, for joining us to share your thoughts on climate change and ways to reduce carbon and greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you guys, it was a pleasure. Thank you everyone so much for having me. Join us for another episode of Uncommon Ground as we discuss the big issues affecting the environment with the next generation of leaders and influencers.